Hey guys. So we've been having some Twitch issues and I have a feeling that I lost some people this evening. So I decided to um, continue doing my story time Sunday here on Facebook as well. Um, my hope is, is that I can get to as many of my friends and followers as I can. So I figured I would, it was so short, I would come over here and do it over here as well. So um, let me know if you pop in. I'd love to see who is listening. And uh, in just a few minutes, once we have some people sort of um, joining us, we will start story time, story time Sunday with our furry, lovable old Grover. Because you all know that you love this book. I know I do. And if you watched on Twitter, thank you for watching. Um, and uh, you're going to hear the book again. <laughs> So again, let me know uh, in chat if you would. I think I got my chat going. Um, if you guys can just uh, pop me a quick hello in chat, I want to see if it's working. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Keith. Much appreciated. Hi, Nick. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, so last week's Storytime Sunday, if you guys missed it, was The Garuffalo by Julia Donaldson. And if you did miss this, I think that it's still on my Facebook. Make sure to go back and watch it because it's amazing. And also make sure to check it out on Netflix. There's an animated version of this, and it's so much fun. And it's actually how we were originally introduced to it. So I am a huge fan of that book. And then today, as I was looking for uh, tonight's reading, hi, Liz, um, I came across all of these books. So I will be doing, um, I'll be doing these books throughout the next few months. I think this will take me through a couple months. Um, and so uh, I'm excited. Some of them are chapter books. So we'll have a couple weeks in a row where we are doing um, chapters. One of them, this is one of my favorite books. Oh, I don't have the actual. Oh, yes, I do. This is, this is one of my favorite books from when I was in middle school. And so we will be reading this in uh, October for Halloween. And then if you guys like it, I know you will, I've got the sequel. So we'll be reading those as well. Um, so again, make sure to say hello. Oh, I dropped the book. Make sure to say hello when you come in. Um, I'd love to see who is joining us for our live feed tonight. Again, I'm going to wait just a little bit just because I threw it out there a few minutes ago. So hopefully people will join us. That would be awesome. I'm going to write a post. All right. Just going to wait a little bit longer. Um, Keith, kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> I'm a little disenchanted with the uh, with cosplay right now, and I also am currently unemployed, so therefore I don't have expendable income to work on anything. Um, so answer long and short is no, <laughs> not currently. We will start the book in just about five minutes, I think. Hopefully. Hopefully we get more people in here. I'd love to see more people joining us. Right now it only shows four little eyeballs. Hi, 
Hi, Trina. We're going to do more stories. More stories. Uh, my Twitch stream has been really weird lately. I trying to raise some money so that I can get a streaming computer because my hope is if I can get a tower um, that is good enough to stream that I can do some charity streams. That is my goal is to raise some money so that I can get a a computer to be able to do charity streams with. So something that has a good enough graphic card and a good enough um, good enough processor to handle streaming so that I can start doing some charity streams and get some money um, for mental health causes. That's sort of what I'm looking at trying to put together, which I hate asking for money and I've never really, I've never been in the position where I sort of had to do that, but being unemployed currently and with my laptop not working, that's kind of what I'm going for. But again, it's for a good cause. At the end of the day, once I get that computer, it's um, like my Patreon, all of the, uh, the funds I get um, will put proceeds towards mental health um, foundations and causes. Um, it's on my Twitch. Um, the, I have it on my, my uh, Twitch or my Patreon, either one, but Patreon's been having so many problems that, um, so it's twitch.com slash actress. Uh, Feel free to pop over there if you would like to donate to that cause. Hopefully, crossing fingers, I can make what I need to make for that computer so that I can do this more often and for a good call. I'm so excited to read this again. <laughs> I just read it. <laughs> I'm excited to read it again. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, we have about eight people in here right now, and I think that that will just grow. Um, make sure to share with your friends. Let's get more people in here so we can share the love of reading because that's what Storytime Sunday is all about. It's all about reading is fundamental and, you know, reading rainbow and all of that fun stuff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry that your childhood sucked. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite books from my childhood and a lot of other um, people our age, I know, like um, Trina just mentioned, are reading it to their kids. So one of the things that I, I want to accomplish in my Storytime Sundays is to share books that I know that um, mean a lot to all of us and that we can share together as a family. So if you do have kids, Feel free to bring them around the screen. Um, this is kid friendly, and I would love to um, bring them a little bit of uh, our childhood. So we'll start. The Monster at the End of the Book, starring lovable, furry old Grover. Hello, everybody. The Monster at the End of This Book by John Stone, illustrated by Michael Smolin. This is a very dull page. What is on the next page? What did that say? On the first page, what did that say? Did that say there will be a monster at the end of this book? It did? Oh, I am so scared of monsters. have an idea. If you do not turn any page, we will never get to the end of this book. And that is good because there is a monster at the end of this book. So please don't turn the page. I'm going to do it anyway because entertainment. Ah, you turned the page. Maybe you do not
not understand. You see, turning pages will bring us to the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. But this will stop you from turning pages. See? I am tying the pages together. So you cannot... What can't we do? Uh-oh. You <laughs> turn another page. You do not know what you are doing to me. Now stop turning pages. <laughs> I love Grover's face. He's like, no. <laughs> there. I, Grover, am nailing this page to the next one so that you will not be able to turn it. And we will not get any closer to the monster at the end of this book. I love how this right here is wood, just in case you didn't know. I mean, they kind of do look like French fries. All right, all right, all right. Do you know that every time you turn another page, you not only get us closer to the monster at the end of this book, but you make a terrible mess. I'm going to appoint one of you to clean it up. This will stop you from turning pages. A heavy, thick, solid, strong brick wall. I would just like to see you try to turn this page. <laughs> oh, Grover hasn't met me, has he? All right, ready, guys? We're going to turn it. I want you all to think really, really hard and help me turn the page. Ready? <sighs> Do you know that you are very strong? A little help with, from my friends over here. We got the page turned. The next page is the end of this book. And there is a monster at the end of this book. Oh, I am so scared. Please do not turn the page. Please, please, please. Oh, huh. How would you look at that? This is the end of the book, and there is only me. I, lovable furry old Grover, and the most and the monster at the end of this book. And you were scared. Huh. The end. I told you and told you. There was nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I am so embarrassed. Poor Grover. And there you have it. Little golden book. Legit little golden book. Monster at the end of this book. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it's short. A lot of these children's books are super short. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me for Storytime Sunday. I do have another book, but um, what I will do is... It, to, to end Storytime Sunday, because that was so short, I will read you one poem from this book. Um, this was one of my favorite books as a child, and for anybody who lives in Maine, this is a little bit special. Bronwyn, I'm looking at you. I just saw you come into the room. Um, <laughs> so I pulled out this book today, and up in the corner, don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, you should be able to. Um, that is a sticker. So this book cost 87 cents. Reference price $1.25, and it was purchased at, right there on the side, Service Merchandise. That got me so excited and makes me love this book even more because I know especially here uh, in Maine, we miss our Service Merchandise a great deal. I might actually read you two out of this. Um, first one I'm going to read you is actually a monologue that I did. Uh, to audition when I was a kid uh, to in, in things that I did for acting. This was one of my audition pieces. And I think that I did it in school as well. So I'll show you the pictures first. <clears throat> okay, this poem is called 
Oh, I was so embarrassed. Have you ever been embarrassed? Have you ever felt so foolish you just wished to run away? Why, yes, you cry. Then hear how I embarrassed me today. I took the bus all by myself in my little coat and cap. I felt so proud until I sat on someone else's lap. Oh no, I said, what have I done? Would you excuse me, please? I should have looked before I sat and landed on your knees. The woman on whose lap I perched was oh so very kind. She told me that she did, she understood, and really did not mind. I said, oh, thank you very much. You have not frowned a bit. You understand I did not make to make, mean to make you understand. With that, I stood up hurriedly and found another place. Embarrassment most certainly was painted on my face. Since you have felt embarrassed too, I do not have to say how glad I am that I found out that feeling goes away. Yay, poetry time. And then I will read one more. So, this book is called, I Think That It Is Wonderful. And so I'm going to read you the, uh, the last poem in the book, which is entitled, quite rightly so, I Think That It Is Wonderful. I think that it is wonderful that I can see a star when it's so very far away. Good night, far away star. I think that it is wonderful that I can hear birds sing when outside everything is still. Good night, bird on the wing. Me think it is wonderful to eat my food all up, especially at supper time or lunchtime or Breakfast time, it, it not matter. Night, night, delicious food. I think that it is wonderful that I can smell a rose. I'm so glad that my nose knows how. Good night, sweet smelling rose. I think that it is wonderful to hug my teddy bear. It doesn't matter where we are. Sleep tight, teddy, my dear. Good night, faraway star. Good night, bird on the wing. Good night, delicious food. Good night, sweet smelling rose. Good night, Teddy, my bear. Good night, good night, good night. So there's that. And I'm going to catch up on chat because there are some. Hi, Craig, nice to see you. Hi, Trina. Again, I'm glad. Angela, welcome. So fun time. So um, I'm glad the kids are loving this, by the way. That's my goal. Um, so fun thing is that while I was looking for my books today, I came across a huge collection of books. So um, we will be going through these books in the next month or so throughout the next month. So every Sunday at 8 o'clock is Storytime Sunday. And I will have a different book almost every Sunday. There are going to be some, I have two chapter books in here. So there are going to be some that extend through Halloween um, in October. We're going to be reading Benicula. Um, and so that's a, a chapter book. So it'll take a little longer, but upcoming books, just so you guys can kind of have it on your calendar. We have Little Miss Star, which is my favorite Little Miss and Mr. book, Benicula which, again, my favorite book when I was in middle school. So this will be Halloween. And then once we get through, it's a short book, but once we get through this, we have the uh, the sequel, Howl It A In. And we have, for the littles, Star Wars ABC3PO, <laughs> which I love. That's really fun. Um, this one I read when I was in middle school as well. It was in our library, and I found it recently, and I love this book. It's called Sleeping Ugly. I love it. It's so silly, but I love it. Um, this no-name book, which was one of my favorites as a kid. It's a picture book. And Donald Duck in Where's Grandma? And so as you can see, it's a little golden snippet book. So 
when I go through it, there's scratch and sniffs, and I will be going through it and explaining what, this, what they smell like. So that's going to be interesting because I not only have to read the book, I have to try and explain what the scent smells like. Hi, guys. So, uh, hello, Ori. Thank you for joining. Hello, Heather. Some of these you'll probably remember um, from when we were kids. I'm sure you probably remember Benicula and Holiday Inn because uh, we went to the same middle school. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm excited to read more books to you. And if you have any books that you recommend, I know at some point we have to do um, The Top of the Coconut Tree. The, um, what is the name of that book? A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Um, we will be doing Chicka Chicka Boom Boom at some point as well. So uh, make sure to tune in every Sunday, 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 Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll continue reading books. Uh, again, feel free to put any of them here in, in the comments. And also, if you are interested in helping towards uh, the goal of being able to stream for charity, if you go over to my Twitch account, twitch.com slash actress, there is a donation button. So feel free to make a donation so that we can get a system together so that I can stream and do charity streams for mental health. That's sort of what my goal is. I really, really want to get there. Um, unfortunately, being unemployed and my laptop that I have right now is not congruent to streaming very well. So this is as, as good as it's going to get. So if you would like to donate towards that cause, uh, please feel free to visit twitch.com slash actress and donate there. Um, and then I will be doing continual streams over on Twitch. And that includes everything from um, these sort of Storytime Sunday um, streams to interviews, uh, streaming World of Warcraft and, and other games. I might even stream Cuphead if I can. Um, just anything that will draw an audience and draw awareness to mental health um, initiatives and funds that we get from those streams, uh, we will be giving to those mental health initiatives. Um, it's something that's very close to my own heart. So this is something that I really, really would love to do. And I have this going on my Patreon and all of my subscribers. Um, you can see sort of how I've, I've set it up on my Patreon, but Patreon's been having some issues lately. And so I'm not comfortable with the, the, the funding there. Um, so I will do it there for now, but my goal is to get a tower um, to be able to stream for charity. So yay. And that's all I've got for this story. I don't want to go through all of my books. I know it's a short one. Um, again, last week, just to recap, we had The Graffalo by Julia Donaldson last week. If you missed it, I'm sure it's still on my stream somewhere. Make sure to watch it. This is fantastic. Such a good book. It's hilarious. And uh, Netflix also has a wonderful animation of this, as well as uh, I think they've got The Graffalo's Child. They've got Room on a Broom, which is another one of Julia's books. And they also have Stickman, um, which we also love here in our in fact, my stepdaughter has a stick man um, keychain on her phone. It's pretty awesome. Uh, shout out Dunkin' Donuts. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I have a little bit of time. If you guys just want to chat, shoot me some questions. For those of you just joining us, I don't know. Uh, those of you in Maine specifically, uh, one cool thing about this book, if you see up here, service merchandise. Loving it. It's like my new favorite book now. I have so few things left from service merchandise. It's exciting. Oh, there's another book in here, too, that we might tap into. I'm Okay, so Roald Dahl is one of my favorite authors. Um Wonderful World of Henry Sugar and Six More we might tap into. I also have Boy and Matilda and the Witches. That if we start liking, um, if you guys start enjoying chapter books, that will definitely be on the roster because the reason that I enjoy reading as much as I do 
stems from my first grade teacher, Mrs. Crose. And she read us in class, she read us the witch. And I think the last 20 minutes of, of class every day or every other day, she would read a chapter. And it just made me uh, adore reading and hearing somebody read, be, you know, being read to, hearing somebody read the characters and everything. Between that and also my eighth grade teacher, Mrs. Um, whoa, I can't believe I just call it, completely blanked on her name. Heather, if you're still there, who was our, our eighth grade English teacher? Her two sons went to school with us. Oh my gosh, she read us Red Wall. And it was one of my favorite like teacher reading moments. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that I'm, I'm she's one of my favorite teachers. Um, my absolute favorite teacher, Mrs. Flood, she was my second grade teacher. She passed away a few years ago and it's still heart wrenching. And it's just one of those teachers who, impacted so much and so many of us as well uh she's an amazing woman absolutely amazing woman and she is so missed like just her talent and her passion and compassion oh my goodness oh she black hair and i just you know out of all of the teachers uh mrs flood and mrs Okay, so Mrs. Clow, I saw her recently. Mrs. I think it also, oh, Mrs. Carter. Heather, it was Mrs. Carter. Uh, she read Redwall. And Mrs. Clow loved Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and she liked the smell of Play-Doh as well. Um, see, things I remember, I have a weird memory. Funny thing about those teachers. And I also remember, Mr. Maniai, my fourth grade teacher and the only full-time male teacher that I had. And we did this really cool project where he had this giant map of the United States and we all had teams and we had to do multiplication tables. And as we did so, we raced across the United States and like our little characters went across and there was like a story involved in it and everything. That was super fun. And that was also the year of, um, the movie Cocktail, and so that album came out, and during lunch, we would all go into the cafeteria and get our trays and go back up to the room, and he would allow us to play music during lunch, and so they would play, um, a couple of the kids in our class would play the Cocktail soundtrack, and they'd get up in front, in front of the class, and they would, uh, like, lip sync. Like, I remember so clearly, like, Jason Seavey and Seth Burns, uh, and Jonathan Bicknell with their spoons singing like hippie hippie shake. Like it's weird the things that we remember, but um, so many fond memories of school for me. I mean, high school uh, was a little rough. Oh, middle school was a little rough. I was bullied really badly, but um, but it also made me who I am. So you know, you kind of it, it, I had great friends during that time as well. Um, I had a lot of fun during those times, but I was also really, really bullied and nervous about going to school and things like that. So, um, I know Heather, me either. Heather, I also remember you, um, coming to trick or treat with us one year and you were a witch and you had one of those little witch noses on. Again, strange things that we remember from our youth, but it's the one great thing about, uh, Storytime Sunday is that we can remember all of these awesome things together. Again, feel free to, to throw in your two cents about memories that you had um, and books that you've loved or teachers that you've loved that have really meant something to you. I'm going quiet so you guys can make your comments, but if you don't have any, that's okay too. <laughs> um, I will probably be doing some more broadcasts throughout the week um, between looking for work and playing World of Warcraft and going for walks and cleaning around the house. That's my life right now. So I'm happy to share at least a little entertainment with you guys thrown in there. And, um, with that, I think I'm going to, it's been about half an hour and I hear food is ready and it's been ready for about an hour. So <laughs> I'm going to go 
I'm gonna go eat some food and I will uh, hopefully speak with you guys real soon. Thank you for tuning in. Um, again, Storytime Sunday, every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time here on Facebook and also on Twitch.com. Again, if you're interested in helping donate to the streaming computer so that we can do charity streams where all proceeds or part, part proceeds, depending on how it works, um, will go towards mental health causes, please go to my twitch.com slash actress account and donate there. Uh, again, hoping to get something put together so that we can have strong streams uh, and really be able to raise some money for, for mental health awareness. So thank you. Thank you. You guys are the best. I can't even tell you. Love you. Talk to you real soon. Bye.